All right, so today we're going to be um, taking notes over measurement proportions. And we're going to be using our um, star chart to get um, our ratio, one of our ratio, our second ratio. And then we're going to be um, using what's given here, okay? So we're going to convert eight and a half quarts into pipe. So I'm going to put quarts over pints as my labels. And here I see eight and a half quarts. Now remember, fractions are just a form of decimal, so we can also say eight and five tenths, or 8.5 is the same thing as eight and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and use 8.5 instead of eight and a half to write my number of quarts. So I see quarts here, so I'm gonna take my number from the problem. And then I'm gonna go over to my math chart and I'm going to see how many pints are in a quart. So here I see one quart is two pints. So I'm gonna be sure to put the one with the quart. So I'm gonna put one next to my quart is two pints. So I'm gonna put two next to my pints. So now I'm gonna put my X here. And then you're gonna cross multiply and divide to get your X. So now we can figure out how many pints is eight and a half quarts. So we're gonna do 8.5 times two. So 8.5 times two is 17. And then we would just divide by one and 17 divided by one is simply just 17. So eight and a half quarts is 17 pints. All right, let's do another one here. All right, so here, I'm gonna see what I'm labeling. I'm labeling millimeters to centimeters. So I'm gonna put millimeters centimeters. Okay, first off, I'm going to do exactly what I'm given. I'm given 530 millimeters. And I'm trying to find how many centimeters. So centimeters is going to be my x. Hmm, now I need to figure out millimeters to centimeters. How many milk? And I'm going to put that, oops, I forgot what it was. I believe it was one and the 10 goes with my millimeter. And remember, this information came right from your star chart. So this is the information I got from the chart, right? And then now we're gonna cross multiply and divide. So here I'm gonna do 530 times one, and then, which is 530, and then 530 divided by 10, would simply just be 53. So 530 millimeters is 53 centimeters. Okay? All right, let's look at pounds and ounces here. So I'm going to do that again. We're going to have pounds to ounces. We're going to put in what we see. Three and a half we know is 3.5. So I'm just gonna change my fraction to a decimal. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in 3.5 pounds, and I'm gonna put my X for ounces because ounces is what we're trying to find here. So now I'm gonna go look at my math chart. Now I see here that one pound is 16 ounces. So, now we need to cross, multiply, and divide. So I'm going to multiply 3.5 times 16. And that is 56. And then we're going to divide by 1. And 56 divided by 1 is still just 56. 
So we're gonna put 56 ounces. Three and a half pounds is simply just 56 ounces. All right, we got two more to do. So now let's look at gallons to quarts, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is put my label, gallons to quarts, okay? I'm gonna put what exactly what I see. So here I see 3.5, and quarts is what I'm trying to find, so I'm gonna put my X there. Now I'm gonna go to my math chart, I'm gonna plug that in. One gallon is four quarts. So, we're going to go ahead and cross multiply and divide to figure out x. So, we're going to do 3.5 times 4. Which is 14. And then 14 divided by 1 is still just 14. So, our answer here would be 14 quarts. Okay. All right. Last one we're going to do today. First thing we always want to do is label. So I'm going to put my meters and my kilometers. And I'm going to put down exactly what I see. I see 660 meters and I'm going to put X for kilometers because I'm trying to find that. Now remember this information here I'm going to get from my chart. So I'm going to go over. So give me a minute. Okay, meters and kilometers. Let me just double check that. So one kilometer is 1,000 meters, okay? So now we're gonna cross, multiply, and divide. So we're gonna multiply 660 times one, which is 660. And then we're gonna take 660 and divide it by 1,000. Now, remember, when we divide any number by 1,000, we can put the decimal at the end. And anytime you move that decimal to the left, you are dividing by a power of 10. So we just divided by 10. We just divided by 100. We just divided by 1,000. So here, my answer would be 0 0.66. And yes, you can even put the zero behind it if you would like to, but you do not have to. So it would be 0 0.660 kilometers. Here's our centimeters. So, oops. Let's go ahead and let's look at that. So let's see here. We have 10 millimeters is one centimeter when I look at my math chart. So I'm going to go one centimeter, so I need to be, make sure the one goes with the centimeter. And I'm gonna see pounds and ounces. And I see one pound is 16 ounces. Be careful, it does not say tons and pounds, it says pounds and ounces. So you wanna make sure you go on the line where they're both on the same line. Okay, so how many quarts are in a gallon. And if you look here, it says one gallon is four quarts. Okay, so chart. And I forgot what it was, I was meters and kilometers. All right, so right here up top, one kilometer is 1,000 meters. Notice I'm not memorizing this. I don't have it memorized. I'm looking.